Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today. It's the 23rd of April 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at what's come across the newswires first. Of course, we saw a positive session in the US overnight with buying back into big tech and essentially snapping a sixth straight day of losses for the S&P 500 and NASDAQ. Middle East situation, which appears to be relatively calm, this stage will continue to be watched and focus will be on earnings and PCE data this week for market sentiment. US futures are trading near neutral today. Asian markets are extending yesterday's gains and following that US lead. ASX is up around at half a percent and European futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon. The US dollar index didn't move very much trading within a fairly tight range yesterday. But we did see a significant drop in gold, perhaps on a calming of that Middle East situation. So it fell back to that 2330 level overnight. It's neutral in Asia today. Perhaps a little bit of buying coming in at this stage, but it may be profit taking on yesterday's drop. Copper paused above that 450 level and is still near two year highs and all halt support as it has done for the last few trading sessions. We saw Bitcoin continue to move upwards, bouncing off that support from last week moving back towards 70,000 again just trading beneath that at this stage during the day and of course earnings are a focus with big tech reports after the bell we've got google and tesla the headline acts of course we are seeing a ramp up in reporting this week so those are the big two out of many reporting today and over the next few days on the data front we've got global pmi out australian and japanese numbers have both risen from last month's figure eurozone us and uk all later we've also got the us gdp and the pce data on friday the highlights for later in the week a couple of charts that caught our eye today we've referenced mesoblast over the last couple of days and it was our chart of the day a couple of days ago you can see this reversal is now completed a very positive candle today taking us up to 85 and a half cents in the short term i would certainly see this retesting 95 cents which will be a, a very respectable gain of around 10 percent from where we are trading right now but you can see that buyers are in we're trading towards the top of the session so it looks fairly bullish the euro yen remains a currency pair of interest you can see on the daily chart that key level at 165.20 which it's tested multiple times over the last couple of months if we just have a look at the hourly chart, uh, you can see how once again we've failed. So there's two potential opportunities that exist. If we do get some buying into the euro subsequent to PMI data, we may see it move over 16520 if that comes in strong. More likely, I would suspect, is a potential test of this temporary support at around about 16452, around about 30 pips down from where we are now. So there's an opportunity to trade it down to this level but a higher probability trade would be a breach and then we might see some significant selling perhaps down to 164. trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now